Hello YouTube, Gnarly right here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to burn movies using the program ConvertX to DVD. It's a really simple program, so this won't take very long. I have it opened up here. First thing I'll do is just go over some of the basic settings for it. In uh, general, you don't have to worry about anything. Language, English, you know. Obviously, if you're Chinese or whatever, pick that. You can mess with this, it just shows when checkers get made. I don't really mess with that at all. Uh, DVD menus, this will show what comes up when you actually put in the play. Like, it'll show the frames for different parts of the movie, different chapters. I don't really mess with any of them. I just keep it on the default. One of these black mirror ones. Uh, you can mess with the text. I don't. Oh, it'll start loop. Tiles one after another, skip the menu. It's all, you know, preference wise. With encoding, I keep it on automatic. The automatic is determine how long the movie is and do the best, you know, option. Target size DVD 5. If you go with DVD 9, I think you have to use um, reliable DVDs because they can hold more. And a lot of times, anytime I try burning one of those, I always have problems, so I just keep on DVD 5. Conversion priority is usually on normal. I keep mine below normal just to make it take up less resources. It might come out with better quality if you do that. I'm not positive. But I just don't like it taking all my resources up so I keep it a little below normal. And using two pass, if you go over it tells you what it does. To achieve better quality it's possible to encode the video in two pass mode. First pass determines the complexity of the video, video signal. Second pass optimizes the distribution of the bit rate throughout the video. Uh, so if you keep that checked this should come out better. Under video processing, I keep this on automatic. What our box is recommended on here. I think you can edit it with this, but every time I click it nothing happens, so I keep it on letter box. This one is usually defaulted here. And I looked up uh, pictures from the same video that record on every one of these. And Last Coast looks the best, and everyone on the site's the same thing, so Last Coast will give you the best results. Don't mess with the, don't mess with this, keep that too. Sound events, you can mess with this, I don't. Um, DVD specification, we're in the United States, where I am, so I keep on NTSC. Uh, resolution, I keep it automatic. I think Foldy gives you better, but it takes longer, but I figure Automatic's automatic. Usually it's automatic for a reason. Same with this. Uh, burning. Uh, I don't mess with this at all. I just leave it the way it is. Same with subtitles and audio. Change this around. Anyway. I keep it where it is though. And that's everything here. The only the one main important thing is the last coast. And maybe the uh, two pass over here. Once you got all your sentence figured out, all you gotta do to burn movies is go to File, Add Video Files, and then pick the movies you want. I'm in the middle of burning the Harry Potter series, so I only got these two left. So I just highlight both of them. They're open. And they're here. If you notice down here, uh, it says the selected encoding option setting gives good result, and it's an auto long project. If you click this and hit the X, it goes down to best possible result and it's a medium project so obviously the more shit you're burning the uh... worst quality you're gonna have i usually uh... normally i burn like three movies on a dvd at a time and i come it comes out you know more than decent but because the harry potter movies are pretty long i'm only doing two this time usually if it says very long project i try to take something off bring it back down to a long project but if you're really crazy about your uh, quality, then maybe one movie at a time is the best option. And when you got this all set up, if you want to move them, you can drag them so that uh, 6 will come first and then 5. Obviously I want them in order, so I can only drag down. There we go. 5 and 6. The X will get rid of it. 
Uh, go up and down from here. All you gotta do is hit convert. While it's converting, the movie will play over here on the right side. If you want to increase the size of that video, you go here and drag it to the left. That's as big as it can get. There's Dumbledore being all pedophile on Harry. Uh, if you want to uh, completely get rid of the preview so you don't like ruin a movie you haven't seen, I can drag this back. You just hit the X up here, and that makes it go away. If you want it back, this option here, preview on and off. It's saying it's gonna take two hours to convert this. Conversion is the longest. It's just what takes the most time when burning. This red, I mean, well, red? No, that's blue. This blue bar will fill up all the way here to the end. And then that's when the burning process starts. And then it'll refill up again while burning. That usually takes about maybe 20 or 30 minutes, depending on the length of the video. And then when that's done, it does a third time through finalizing, which usually doesn't take more than 30 seconds. And then it'll spit out the movie, and it'll say, Operation has been completed in some kind of accident, I don't know. And yeah, that's everything that's needed to know in order to burn movies on this program. Um, I think that's it. If you like this uh, video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.